There are multiple ways to make grass, and this is method number one. Make a plane and open the shader editor. Add a new material and add a musgrave texture. Also add a color ramp and connect them together. Now you can go over to the musgrave texture and press Ctrl T. You can select both the color ramp and the musgrave texture and press Ctrl Shift D in order to duplicate it while maintaining the connection. If we now select both color ramps and press Ctrl Zero, it will automatically make a mix RGB node and they are connected into it. I'm going to set it to add. Now I'm going to change some settings in the musgrave texture itself. And these are the settings I'll be using. Now all we've got to do is change the colors of our color ramp to make sure that they are grass-like. I'm going to pick a darker green, a normal green, some yellow and different colors that represent grass. Now add a particle system and set it to hair. You can already see that the texture we've made is influencing the way our particle system looks. But hold up, we've got to change some different settings as well. We are going to scroll down to physics and we're going to play around with the Brownian motion. Not too much, just a little so that we get some randomization in our scene. Scroll down to children and set it to interpolated. Once we've done that, we can go over to parting and we're going to increase it just a little bit. Under roughness, we are going to change the random. And under clump, we can change the clump settings. And that's pretty much it. Play around with the sliders and our grass is done. Method number two, the realistic version. Go to ambient CG and type grass. Then we are going to download it and place it in our texture folder. Then go over to the shader editor, click on the principal BSDF and press Ctrl Shift D in order to bring in our grass texture. That's pretty much it for the texture for the grass. Now we need to do some things with the plane itself in order to make it work. So we've got a plane with different strands of grass. Now what we want to do is separate those strands from each other so that we can play around with them and make separate clumps, just as in real life. So we're going over to our plane and we're going to make some loop cuts in order to make this work. I'm going to place one right here, one right here, and a couple more. Now if you press the first one, the third one, the fifth, seventh, etc. and then press Ctrl P, then we can separate the selection from the rest of the mesh. Now we're going to select everything, go into edit mode, Ctrl P, and press by loose parts. Once we've done that, all the meshes are separated and we've got our different hair strands. Now select all strands and go into edit mode. We are going to shift over the origin point. Right now we're going over to edit mode, we're going to select all and we're going to press G and slide it down on the Y axis in order to slide our origin point to the base of the strand. Now we can select all of these and add some loop cuts once again because we want a little bit more geometry to deform the mesh later on. So we are going to make some loop cuts in every grass strand that we've got. Now rotate them all on the x-axis with 90 degrees and they're all standing upright. And now we just gotta bring some variation into it by placing them together and rotating them. Make a plane and add a particle system. Set it to hair and scroll down to render. Now change path to collection. And we're going to choose the selection that we've just made. Now we'll press advanced and check mark rotation. We're going to randomize some of these values in order to get to a decent result. Now go to physics and increase the value of the Brownian slider. Now scroll down to children and set it to interpolated. And now we can change some settings in the hair shape as well. So go over to parting and increase the value. Then we're going to roughness and we're going to set the random just a little bit higher so that we get some randomization in our grass. Then I'm going to clump and I'm going to clump it just a little bit because grass comes in clumps. Make sure that you're happy with the values and we're done. One little extra thing that we could do is go over to the shader editor and add a translucent shader. Then we're going to bring both of those together with a mix shader and into the translucent shader we can plug the color of our grass texture. Decrease the value of the mix shader until you get something that you like. If you want to make it even more real, head over to textures.com or ambientcg.com and download some extra images as planes and distribute them as a particle system on your scene as well. In this final render, I had three different particle systems on one plane. Now, if your grass still looks like this instead of this, you definitely want to watch my lighting tutorials next because that will solve all your problems. Thanks for watching. Give a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye.